Pochi Guy is going to show you how to fix the printer offline problem. Now this can be in any version of Windows and any printer. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and also hit that bell notification button to keep notified when we upload new videos every day. Now this does happen with any version of Windows operating system and also any version of printer that you may have. And if it's a network printer, it sometimes shows up as offline. So go down to the search box here and we're going to type in here control panel or control and then you can hit control panel here and this will open up your control panel window. Inside here, if you're looking at this area here, go to category at the top and go large icons and then we want to go over to where it says devices and printers. Inside here, you will see your printer. Now, if you're seeing this grayed out uh, printer icon, which is offline, you can see status offline. This is a common problem and I'll show you how to quickly rectify it in this video. So the first thing what we're going to do here is right click on this and go to see what's printing. Then go up to the top left hand corner and hit printer and remove the ticks from use printer offline and also pause printing. You want to remove those ticks by just clicking on them and removing them. Next up, you can go to right click and then come down to where it says troubleshoot on that printer and run the troubleshooter. This will try to fix any problems that is uh, happening with that printer. Okay, now once that is completed and you're still having issues, I'll show you some more things that you can do. And uh, what we're gonna do is move on to the next step. So let me just close this off. And uh, down the bottom here, you wanna make sure you go to the uh, network icon here, open network and internet settings. Inside here, you'll see your internet. Now, whether you're using Wi-Fi, Ethernet, uh, you need to click on uh, that device. We're looking for sharing options here. So I'm gonna to go to the Ethernet connection because that's what I'm connected to. And uh, once you're inside here, uh, we want to go to network and sharing center. Inside here, we want to go up to the top uh, left hand side here. And you want to click on change advanced sharing settings. Inside here, you want to make sure network discovery is got the radio button on turn on network discovery and turn on to automatic setup for network connected devices. Make sure you also got turn on printer file and sharing. Uh, make sure that is all uh, ticked and ready to go. You got your radio buttons in the right one, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Once you've got all this done, you can check your public settings in there as well. Next, go down to the search box and type services. Inside the services pane here, what we're gonna do is look for uh, print spooler. Come down to the print spooler here, be under the P's, and uh, you should see it inside here. Let me just try and find it here. There we go, print spooler. Now it may be running, if it's disabled, then turn it on to automatic. If it is already running, just click stop and then click start and make sure the automatic startup type automatic is enabled, okay? Sometimes it just gets a little bit jammed up. Just uh, restart that or uh, make sure it's running automatic. Next up, right click on the start button and go to device manager. Inside the device manager, go to your printer you can see here printers here is your printer right click on this and uh, I'm just going to quickly check to make sure everything is running okay so go to properties you should see this device is working properly and uh, what you can do here is just close this pane off and then right click and go to uninstall device now you've got two uninstall options here the first uninstall will leave the driver on, so you can try that method first before you do uh, delete the driver software. So try the first method first by leaving the tick out of that box. And then you can go up to uh, the top here, up to Actions. Just next to View here, you'll see Action, and you can scan uh, for hardware devices inside here. And what that will do is find the printer, and then it will put the driver back on, okay? Now, another thing you can do if that is not working, you can right click and uninstall uh, completely from here. So if it's still not working, uninstall device, put the tick in, delete the driver software from this device like so. And then what you want to do is go to the manufacturer's website and get the driver for that particular printer. In this case, you can see it's a Canon, uh, whether yours is a Samsung Canon, uh, 
whatever printer you go to their website and download the driver for that particular printer download the correct one for the right operating system that you're running and then you can install this driver and hopefully this will fix your problem sometimes their drivers get corrupted or you end up with having issues uh, with that driver so basically just install this here there we go so let's run then click on the install I'm not going to go through the whole installation process because this does take a bit of time now if you do see the smart screen uh, cannot be reached right now that's okay just click run on that it is safe because it's coming from the Canon website make sure you download the drivers from the manufacturers website and not just some uh, dodgy shady site on the internet that supplies drivers and uh, start the setup and you should be pretty much good to go next up we're going to go back into control panel and we're going to go back into devices and printers so once we're inside devices and printers look for your printer and then once you find your printer if it's still grayed out don't worry right click on this and then we want to come down to where it says printer properties so not properties at the bottom printer properties and then look for your IP address under ports configure port and then remove SMMP uh, status enabled once you remove this tick you can then apply and OK and hopefully your printer will come back online and it will start to show uh, that the printer is now online you can then right click on this and set this as your default printer and uh, you should get a little tick on there like so and that's pretty much it you should be back up and running and your printer should now be online and you should be able to print with your printer Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.